Hello everyone and welcome to my channel this is the 65th part of what if Deku was Sanji's reincarnation, my heroes reborn, the author of this great fan if I see is M. I believe links to them and original story in the description. Chapter 65, No. Down Boy. With Habiki in all light, Habiki got the notice that Achiko was done with hers inside. What's wrong? Asked All Might. You ever do something because someone begged you? Asked Hibiki. All Might stared at Hibiki. What? He asked. Well, you see. Said Hibiki. Flashback. You want to test Mashareo? Asked Hibiki. I do. Said Sito on the same day that he came over for the session. Is this about righteous fury? Asked Hibiki. If the stories are true. Said Sito. What stories? I was there. I am an eyewitness. Said Aiko, he beat her. Okay, never mind that. Said Sito, but the point is he beat her. Hibiki sighed. He had analyzed various things about the reincarnations that were still heroes. While Sito was one who earned his trust there was something he was unsure about this matchup. I don't know. Said Hibiki. Oh come on the kid beat Bella. Said Sito, I should be the one to face him. Yeah, that part does kind of make sense, but there's also the fact I don't know if you'd be able to push him that much. Said Hibiki. What do you mean? Asked Sito. I think Mashareo might be stronger than you. Sighed Hibiki. Seriously, he's a kid. Said Sito who sounded like he figured it might be the case. A kid that left your past life's cousin in a giant crater. Said Hibiki. Let me explain. Said Aiko, he's someone who gained a lot from his past life, you learned how to fight slightly better in a full dog form. Well, well. Said Sito blushing a little. The point of this is to push him to his limits. Sighed Hibiki, you are a skilled hero, but in this case. Seriously? Asked Sito, who were you thinking of having him fight him? It's none of your business. Said Hibiki. Ruji. Said Aiko. Aiko. Muttered Hibiki. Is he still jealous? Asked Sito. He is, not as much as before but yeah. Said Aiko. Aiko. Yelled Hibiki. Come on we both know it's true. Said Aiko. Hibiki sighed. Do you want to deal with him anytime soon? Asked Sito, I heard he used that new suit a couple times in recent fights. Hibiki face palmed. Fine, but you owe me big time. Sighed Hibiki face palming. All right. Said Sito. Hibiki sighed hoping he wouldn't regret it. End of flashback. All Might was looking at him unsure how to respond to it. So, you think it was a bad idea? Said Hibiki. I have no idea. Said All Might. Hibiki sighed. Meanwhile with Sito and Mashureo they got to a mountain-like training area. All right. So, are you ready? Asked Sito. Mashureo nodded. All right. Let's get started said Sito. That was when suddenly Sito turned into a half-dog half-human. Try me, said Sito. Mashareo let loose a punch and it hit quite hard. Oh man, that was a hard punch, said Sito. Mashareo didn't say anything but the time delivered a rather harsh kick. However Sito managed to recover and launched an attack. However Mashareo managed to dodge the attack. Then Mashareo managed to hit him with her tail hard. I'm only getting started. Said Sito. He launched himself at Mashareo who managed to hit with his tail again. Meanwhile in the viewing room. Achiko sighed as she entered. You okay? Asked Toru. That tree. Sighed Achiko. We saw. Said almost everyone in the class. Achiko just blushed in embarrassment. 
I know I was going up against her, said Achiko. Did she tra trap you in tree before? Asked Izuku. No, but I had to help her out with her chainsaw. Said Achiko. Why does she even have a chainsaw? Asked Siro. Her plants don't disappear. Explained Achiko. The entire room sweat dropped, it did make sense but still a chainsaw though. Io Raid told you that. Side Aizawa face palming. Back at the training ground, Mashireo knew he had to up things. Sito ran towards him and but Mashireo was ready. Bakusai Tenkatsu. Called out Mashireo as he created a giant crack in the battlefield that Sito was barely able to dodge. Sito looked at the giant crack. Merlin's hairy ballsack. He yelled in English then switched back to Japanese, how are you able to do that? It's a technique I learned in my past life. Said Mashireo. Can it work on anything? Asked Sito. Don't worry, it don't work on living thing, trust me. Said Mashireo. That's good to know. Yelled the dogman unsure how to repose to this. Sito sighed. Why do I get the feeling that Hibiki is just going to tell me, I tried to warn you dot? Said Sito with a sigh. Probably. Said Mashireo. I made a huge mistake. Said Sito. In the observation room of the class was surprised by this. Really the only ones that weren't surprised were the therapy group Anita, as he had seen it before. Though Katsuki was surprised due to being the new guy of the group. Why haven't we seen any of this? Yelled Kaminari. Because he didn't participate in the tournament. Koka. There was an awkward silence as they remembered they dropped out of the tournament because he felt he shouldn't be in after both rounds made him feel like he cheated. I wonder how the sports festival would have went had he not dropped out. Said Tsuyu. Chances are he would have faced off against Kirishima or Kaminari in the first round. Said Momo. What? Asked Kaminari. Oh seriously said Kirishima who actually sounding a bit disappointed. Katsuki looked at his friend. What, what? It would have been an awesome fight, said Kirishima. Back in the battlefield. Sito looked at the crack. Say, said Sito. Mashireo looked at him getting a feeling what he was about to ask. The point is that I can't hold back, said Mashireo. I'm going to be completely honest. Said Sito, I'm one of the weaker people who fought back, and that includes Yuzu and Hiroki, and they were normal people in their past life. Wait, what? Said Mashireo. I've heard things about those two, and Hiroki go hit around the same time as me. Said Sito. Mashireo sighed. Look. Said Sito, I'm a pro, but there are times where you got to throw in the towel, and, you're supposed to be pushing me to the limits, and you wanna quit because I'm stronger than you. Said Mashireo. When you put it that way, it sounds bad. Sighed Sito. That's because is it? Said Mashireo. Sito just sighed and turned fully human. Fine just use me as a punching bag. Said Sito. Mashireo sighed. He began to unleash Shur Shur Hokuden on him. Those in the observation room eyes our side. He was definitely going to complain about this. Is that guy seriously a pro? Asked Kyoka. Yeah, he's not very high ranking. Ada Zuku, it probably just a bad matchup. I think I know why Sito wanted to do this. Said Momo, but I don't know why Hibiki agreed to this. They all realized they could get the answer. Izuku took out his transceiver and hit the Aiko. Let me guess you want to know why Hibiki let him do this despite him getting trounced. Said Aiko. All of the students nodded. He pushed the Ruji button. Said Aiko. Seriously. Yelled Momo. Izuku just face palmed. The Ruji button? Asked Ida. Don't ask. Said Izuku. You really don't want to know. Said Momo. 
Wait, did you have anything to do with it? Asked Achiko. There was an awkward silence coming from Aiko. No. Said Aiko. Aiko. Sighed Ida who could tell she was lying. You don't even know what's going on. Said Aiko. But he knows when you're lying. Said Momo. Sigh. Muttered Aiko. Back on the training ground. Mashareo sighed. I think that's all I can do for now. Sighed Mashareo. Wait what? Asked Sito. Well the attack I used on, on your. Said Mashareo. Cousin from a past life. Said Sito not wanting to get into all of it and thought it was best keep it simple. The attack is best used when I'm at my lowest point. Explained Mashareo. It's an all or nothing move. Said Sito. Yeah. Said Mashareo. There was another awkward silence. You might need another reassessment. Said Sito. I know. Sighed Mashareo, maybe. I should start using an umbrella after all. What? Asked Sito. Uh. Sighed Mashareo. In the observation room there was an awkward silence. Looks like it's over. Said Izuku. Don't worry mine's next and it won't be like this one. Said Toru who then left the observation room. Kyoka sighed. This is going to be a really weird fight. Said Kyoka. It was clear that the next one was going to be really weird. On the bright side, the next fight was definitely not going to not going to be one-sided when it came to the hero. So that was a plus. That will be it for this part. I hope everyone enjoyed if you did please leave a like and comment if you want part 66. If you want to hear more from me subscribe I hope to see you all in the next one.